Every day I wonder how insane this madness is going to get before it exposes itself. What's going to be the final straw? Then I read the news and find out that we managed to hit a new low. This week, we're told to erase Morgan Freeman from personhood because CNN's coddled little socialite, Chloe Mellis, was once personally offended by Morgan Freeman in an interview. She felt so oppressed, she decided to search out other women who hated him too. CNN now proudly announces that Mellis was allowed to co-write the story of her vindictive mission and did most of the research herself, searching out the other accusers. Because that's not biased at all. But we're supposed to find Chloe Mellis stunning and brave for taking down an 80-year-old man who overcame growing up black and poor in Jim Crow's Deep South because he didn't meet her expectations when she finally met him in person. Morgan Freeman was not good enough for Chloe, and she's using the public now to take her revenge. We're supposed to think, after reading her Wikipedia page and comparing it to what Morgan Freeman struggled through to gain success, we're supposed to think that he's the one with privilege and power. But let's have a look at this and really think about it. Think about it carefully. Here we go. Mellis grew up in Georgia, born in 1986. Freeman grew up in Mississippi, born in 1937. So, it took the Deep South about 50 years to give birth to the woman who could finally have him lynched. Mellis' mother was a children's author and her father an architect. She played competitive classical piano. Freeman's mother was a schoolteacher, his father a barber, who died of cirrhosis. Freeman himself almost died of pneumonia at age 16. Raised by his single mother after his grandmother died. Then he joined the army so that people like Mellis could safely learn how to play the piano. Mellis had her first job at CNN straight out of graduation. Freeman didn't land a groundbreaking role and get success until 1987, when he was about 50 years old. Of course, all of his struggles were just part of his real job. To sit across from Mellis at an interview and please her like some kind of performing monkey. Do you see where I'm going here? Morgan Freeman owes you nothing. I worked in the film industry, and part of the reason actors are rude is because so many people vying for their attention and pretending to be their friends all just want a piece of the legend and don't give a shit about the real person behind the icon. They don't care about you because you don't care about them. Morgan Freeman isn't your fantasy of who he is. He's a real person, three-dimensional. He's struggled, fought, cried, laughed, and survived. And people like Chloe will never know the real Morgan because she didn't want to. Think about that, and before you judge Morgan Freeman, remember something. He's not a privileged man. He's not a benefactor of the so-called patriarchy. You know, that well-oiled machine that does the bidding of angry women the moment they point a finger. I won't erase Morgan Freeman from humanity, because if I did, what would that tell us about humanity? In the end, you decide what kind of world you want to live in, and that will be the world that you're stuck with. Morgan Freeman doesn't want to be referred to as a black man. He doesn't like Black History Month. He's a man, and his history is American history. Me? Well, I've never liked studying history at all, because we never seem to learn from it.